So this is what we call the Science at Home Hake Box. We start with smoked mackerel pate, which is so lovely. The main course is grilled hake with beer, bacon and cabbage. To finish, sticky toffee pudding, of course. And we're going to start with the most simple of the first courses, but I just really like it. It's my own little recipe. It's just smoked mackerel, cream cheese and lemon juice. My dressings are very simple. They're either olive oil or sunflower oil. The saying is, be profligate with the oil and lean with the vinegar. That is the rule of a good dressing. Spread a generous amount of pate, maybe a couple of slices each. So there we go. Smoked mackerel pate is just so Moorish. So this is the main course. So I'm just putting a little bit of oil on my um, grilling plate and dunking the hake fillets in the oil. I think you'll really like hake. It's one of my favourite fish. I think it's one of those fish that is very underrated and when people taste it, unless they're used to going to Spain where it's called Melutha, they don't realise how good it is. So there we go, that's going to go in the grill now for about, well the rule of thumb with fish generally, if you can think of the old imperial measurements, it's 10 minutes to the inch. So we're looking here at about six, seven minutes. There we go, into the grill. Right, while that's grilling, we're going to cook the cabbage that came in your box. It'll either be hispy cabbage or sometimes we use savoy, but they're both equally nice. And as soon as it comes to the boil or thereabouts, I'm going to take it off and pass it through a colander because it's so thinly sliced, it'll cook really, really quickly. And what I want is for it to have a nice crunch, even when it's cooked. The contents of the pouch I've got in a pan already, and this is basically butter, shallots, garlic, beer, chicken stock, smoky ba bacon, and parsley. I need to just warm that through now. It's a very simple dish for you to prepare, but that's how we like it to be. So there we go, we can see that's up to the boil. Pass it through the colander. Then put the contents of this into there. And that is ready to go. And now I'll just check my hake. You can smell that fish skin starting to catch. So I know it's going to be done. That is done. So let's go. Serve it up. As ever with us, we'll just give you slightly more sauce than you need. That's it. Smelling gorgeous. So now for the fish fillets on top. Such a lovely combination. And all I'm going to do with that is serve some new potatoes with it. The combination, lovely. And do you know what? If you like your beer, a nice pint of British ale would be so good with it. There we are. Let's eat. So to finish, sticky toffee pudding. You can either heat it up in the microwave for about two minutes or in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Um, that is um, smelling so good. I put sticky toffee pudding in quite a lot of our boxes because it's one of those things when you're in, the, you know, in a restaurant, you sort of think, I wonder if anybody will notice if I have sticky toffee pudding again. Great big dollop of Cornish cottage cream, I think. What could be nicer than that? Gosh, it's such a great food. So that's my Steins at Home hake box. Starting, of course, with smoked mackerel pate, which is just so simple and so lovely. Then grilled hake with beer, bacon, and cabbage. And finishing with the perennial, wonderful sticky toffee pudding. So go to rickstein.com, look for Steins at Home.